In order to get vaccinated for COVID-19 in India, you have to register at this official website of uh, Government of India. The process of registration goes like you will have to find a vaccination center in your area and then uh, book an appointment for getting vaccinated. You can uh, specify the type of vaccine that you want, your age and maybe if you want to pay it or free. So whatever kind of vaccination you want, you can specify and then you, you have to search for any available slot and then you have to book an appointment and then you can uh, physically go visit there and then get vaccinated. The problem here is since these uh, I mean slots are very limited, so a lot of people are finding it hard to get any available slots. So. What you have to do is you will have to keep visiting this website again and again and again and keep uh, finding these slots and if they are available uh, that only then you can book. So what I have done in uh, this project is I have uh, automated this process of uh, visiting this website again and again and finding a, a available slot for yourself. So. What this uh, project does is it consumes the same API that the website consumes and it tries to uh, fetch the details from it and then uh, check if uh, there is any slot available for you or not. Uh, so let me quickly walk you through the code. This is how it looks. Here you can specify uh, your pin code where you want to get uh, any center, any available center and uh, this is uh, the time uh, that that you want to specify after how many minutes you want to uh, this i mean you want to check the website and this is the type of vaccine that you want and there are two i mean available vaccines as of now covaxin and covishield and you can specify your age uh, as per the government uh, norms uh, there are different slots for people that are of age 45 i mean that are above age 45 and uh, there are different slots for there which are less than 45 so this is the code that takes everything into account and then checks um, calls the api and then i mean gets all that data into json format and then um, it reads through the entire data then it tries to match if uh, there is anything available inside those data that matches your criteria and if uh, there is anything that matches your criteria it tries to give you a pop-up and if you click upon that pop-up uh, it opens uh, this uh, Covin uh, website into your browser and uh, this is how the process goes and uh, this entire uh, function runs inside uh, infinite while loop so what happens is uh, it keeps uh, running this uh, function again and again after the time that you have specified so this this is a fairly simple program uh, you can extend this by taking more people into account like you can specify uh, i mean number of pin codes over here and then call apis those many times you can also specify uh, the like if your family have four or five members then you can specify an array of people and then look for that so there are so many enhancements that you can do but this is a fairly simple program from where you can get the idea about i mean how you can automate this process of checking uh, the website again and again and finding any availability so let me quickly run this and show you how does it looks so here i have specified the pin code that is uh, near to me uh, where i am currently living and uh, if i will run it will try to find any available location for my age that is 24 it, it will try to uh, find out any available slot of covid shield uh, covid shield type in uh, my uh, location so uh, i mean this is the command this is i mean the this is uh, the file name which you can run so if i run it now then it will try to i mean fetch so there are three centers that is hsc samd luxol jokari and something so there are two slots and it checked at this time then it will check again in the specified time minute i mean in, in a specified time so it will uh, keep calling that again and again and uh, this is how it goes so for the sake of this video uh, what i will try to do is i will try to 
hard code value and uh, show you how the actual pop-up looks if uh, I mean it gets any availability so so let me uncomment this piece of code okay and I will comment this also this code as well and I will comment uh, this API call as well since I am no longer I mean since I am already hard coding the value I no longer have to call the API and uh, this entire code is available on my github repository so you can see that the, I have I mean added a hard coded value into it where I have specified that there are 10 uh, available slots so that is the thing and uh, let me try to run this again so I have saved it and if I will run it again so you see it uh, shows you a pop-up something like this and if I click on yes then it will I mean automatically take me to the website so this is where it has opened the has opened into a new tab so again if uh, that is available then I can search and uh, book a slot for myself so this is I mean the dry run of the program this is the uh, 